not get ahead of ourselves. It is only 1-0 in this. Okay, Lulu Ban, interesting. That's against Goon because he played it twice in the group stage to great success in that mid lane. Now, that's one thing I really do like from OMG, targeting Goom. That's one of the guys on this team that you want to target in the band. Watch and Goom because Cool, like we said, he's got a much deeper champion pool than Goom. He can easily work around this. Yeah, that's very, very true. He's actually always had a fairly small champion pool back in Ooh. spring. He played a lot of the bunk. In Italy, okay. they're obviously gone. But now, the Sin and Rise are both open so and far. Maokai. Maokai so. as well. They can ban it here and have I would OG. Wait. I would not want go going on Rise. <laughs> no, I, I mean, <laughs> but do you want Lovelin on Lee Sin? I wouldn't want Save on Rise either, so which way do they go with? Yeah, exactly. Do they let Watch have Lee Sin? Ban Maokai, Lee Sin, Rise open. So they pick one, you get the other one. Something here, a problem for Najim White Shield is that Save really doesn't play Maokai, whereas yes. Ogoin can go towards that one. So we'll see whether the final okay. ban comes the rise. through. So Lee Sin is in now. Okay, gives the choice to the top laner. It will be Rise, it looks yeah. like, for Go Go, but they're discussing it. They're like, but Maokai, do we now let it get go? Get the through? Rise, get the Rise denied from Save as well. Like, both these top laners can hard carry on Rise. Just like Go Going can do it on Aurelia, which was banned away, but if you give him the rise instead, uh, I'm not as, sure. As good as Go Going's rise is, this champion is not a win, immediate win for the top lane. You yeah. can kill this champion very early. Early on, mana building phase, he is a juicy, juicy target. And we'll have to see which jungler Watch goes with because Kha'Zix is pretty much the most next contested yeah. for both of these two guys. And. So the only problem is if he goes Kha'Zix here and we're going to see like Jarman coming in from Lovling on the other side, he will have slightly more early game pressure. He can use that pressure to help go going in the top lane. When we see OMG play, it's often Lovling, ganks for go going, he gets he gets the lead and then he teleports bot lane, helps the bottom lane and suddenly everyone is winning because Cool normally does fine in the mid lane alone. That would be scary stuff. Yeah, well we'll see because he did lock in the Kha'Zix, so the next order of junglers would be... Jarvan for Lovelink. Janna is open again if they want it against the Z pick. They can do Janna Lucian like they did in the last oh. game. Yeah. Oh. Right there, you have the same bottom lane now, super strong as long as you have the coordination between them and you have to Janna into So Zed. the thing is, Gung has talked about how much confidence he does have with this Z, and that's why they just keep going back to it. Yeah. Picking it first round over and over again. I don't know, though, working around that gen is extremely difficult. Yeah, especially because I'm not sure if OMG wants to pick a Z themselves. I don't recall seeing Cool play a lot of Z. I mean, I've seen him play it, yeah, he, but he, not been like, a, oh my god, his Z has been absolutely amazing. They're going to first pick this Z from OMG's side. You could delay the pick. You don't have to first pick it. On this side, you could have gotten Janna for, uh, for Gorilla. Well, I have definitely seen Cool playing some pretty yeah. amazing Z in the, uh, in, my, in the past. We'll see, of course, which way he goes, but the fact that he's been locked in first pick. Again, as Grepo mentioned, you know, lock into the locking in against the Janna Rise combo. Just the fact that Janna's there is, is a tricky prospect. But Corky locked in this time again for Zephyr. Jungle what Brahm. Are we going to see? Will that it be, be Brahm this time? He was considering it last game and went with the Morgana. This time around, he will stick with Brahm for support Gorilla. So going back to those regular season picks here for Gorilla, let's see how they do with an initiation. Now they're going to have an actual tank on their team, and it comes from the support, so it doesn't have to be top laner or jungle here. Brom Wall is going to be pretty big for this team. A lot more defenses means their team fight will be much stronger. Yeah, and now that Lee Sin is gone, Kha'Zix is gone, we pretty much always see Loving fall back on a Javan. It's a very standard jungle in China as well, because it's so much about diving the back line. Every single time a Javan fits in really well. Thing is, it's also good because it would oh. cataclysm in the AD carry, but Corky's already been locked Corky in. Corky can always jump and away. He can just so jump out of it. Still, Rengar maybe mm. coming in. If this is going to be a Jax top, I mean, they're playing around a little bit. Yeah, the Rise <laughs> can be a flex pick. Jax has been a very big pick for Go Going as well. But uh, we might see the Jace, which was being practiced by Cool in yep. Solar Queue. We saw he had like the last 10 oh. games, eight of them was on, was on Jace. And this is a poke combo. Ooh. It would be poke with a Janna on their team. That's always a good combo to go with. Oh, Rengar, one and four record for Loveling on Rengar. That's not good in the summer. But as you mentioned, with the Jace in there, maybe this is something, obviously you said in the last game that Cool, of course, had been practicing Jace constantly. Will we see a switch or will Save choose for the Nidalee, for the split push, for the poke? Yeah, and so Save on Nidalee, he can actually go two different ways. We have the standard split push in Nidalee, Bruiser type. We's all, we've also seen AP Nidalee actually, yeah. where he gets Sheen as the, one of the first items, and then he can either go Trinity Force or Lich Bane with right. it. 
But that's normally picked into a very heavy Pokemon where they have Jace, or sorry, where they have a lot of Pokemon themselves. They do have the Corky pick, they do have the Cossack, so they can still do the AP Nidalee, and then Zed as the only split push, and then you have four people sitting in mid lane, poking onto uh, OMG here. So it could be Pokemon against Pokemon. Could be. Um, I do like the fact also that we do have both junglers who could set up the hunt in the end game. We do. <laughs> Rengar versus We'll Kai see Kai whether we get that, that yeah. stage. Fingers crossed. So, but that would have to be a really late game. We do have a lot more engaged on the side of OMG compared to White Shield in this case. White Shield wants to poke and like kite, which is the style they like to run a lot. Where OMG on the other side, you have the Rengar, you can flash in on Rise to set up the easy engages. Right, we've seen really good engages from Gogoing with his Rise, with just the Flash, and upgrading his Distortion Boots to get that cooldown for Flash and yeah. his Teleport. He's been a really, really good top winner for engaging fights for his team, just like Save used to do. Um, really good at flanking around. So a lot of changes for both these teams in this match. Of course, best of fives, it's all about adapting, overcoming. Who's come out the best in this pick and ban phase? I mean, we have to see how much Gogoing can do on this Rise pick, because that was the first pick for them. Lee Sin was banned, so we didn't, uh, White Shield didn't want to tra trade Rise for Lee Sin. So if Gogoing can carry on Rise here, they might have to change it up again next game. And I also have to say, the other solo lane here, cool. There's probably a reason why Shield banned it out. And Jace now, with the changes, has a much stronger matchup versus Zed. Well, now that the teams have picked their champions, who do you think has the edge here? Tweet us hashtag OMGWIN or hashtag NWSWIN to at LOL Esports. And of course, we'll tally up your votes and see how this goes. OMG take game one in the series. Can they go 2-0 against Najin Whiteshield or will they strike back? Of course, you heard in game one, some big chance coming out of the Korean fans for OMG. Najin Whiteshield on home turf being outshouted by China fans. Yeah, and... Uh Nidalee is the last pick here for save. He is going to the Doran's ring early on, so we will see the AP Nidalee. That's actually a very hard matchup against the Rise. For save on this top lane here, Gogoing should be able to do just fine in lane, get all the early farm, which also means Lothling can actually sit back and farm to level 6 before he's really needed. And, you know, AP Nidalee, while she is better when she does group up than, you know, the Bruiser Nidalee, she's nowhere near what Jace is. Cool is running those flat armor penetration runes, and he should have a pretty easy uh, opening lane here, so if Cool can get massive, then that's going to be plenty of poke for them. Ooh, cancels that auto? No. Just a little back and forth between the two junglers. Doesn't realize how much support is behind him. Cloud's going to come and see if he wishes to throw that Howling Gale out. No, nope. simple ward on the red buff. Doesn't actually show save, so where the scene, of course, remember last game we did have the duo lanes both head towards the top. We'll see whether it stays the same because at the moment the support and AD carries are split for OMG. Looks like Sam wants to be down the bottom there. Will be a swap here from White Shield sending Corky to the top lane. So save on his Nidalee. Won't have to deal with Ryze in the one on one. At the same time, the Corky pig won't have to deal with Lucian Jenna, which That's is such a good comp if you coordinate the shield with the poke from Lucian. I have to say, I think shield are going to have to rely on that lane swap. Their team fight against double exhaust with these double assassins that they have is going to be an uphill battle for them. They yeah. do start out with that lane swap, yeah. trying to get Corky to that fast level six. It was spotted out, so Najin White will respond. We did see Watch was down there, ready to start out on this blue buff, which OMG are now taking, so it's going to delay things. You can see now, Watch is going to pass by that ward, so OMG fully aware of his position. I wonder if they're going to try and play any shenanigans and interrupt here. Remember, they tried to go for the three ball start last time around, which is where the kill came from for Najin White Shield. But it will be a simple pickup, the support. But it is a 4 0 push, and Save, he's down at this tower. Yeah, Save shouldn't be down here because he will never ever get close to any minions when your blue buff is already gone. You know they're on the bottom side of the map, just zoning him away. And he got one. Watch this. <laughs> he did get one minion. <laughs> With the spear, that might be his idea. Just sit there, try and long-range spear to try to try and last it some minion. Well, this ward that they placed really early on, uh, because they're expecting this lane swap. Not only does it give them vision for this early dragon attempt, if it would go down from OMG, uh, it also alerts save that the threat of the dive is no longer there. So he can sit in that lane, and Shield are currently getting three lanes of experience. He got a bit of experience off of that minion wave, whereas OMG right now only getting two lanes of experience with a double jungle follow. And up top, uh, Zephyr's trying to freeze it, but it will slowly be pushing towards that turret. Yeah, right now, OMG, they need to send 
Loveling and go going back to this bottom side here and force save away from the tower because he is actually able to get a few last hits with his spear from Max Reigns. OMG has not been able to actually deny him, deny him any of the spears like walking in front of it and take the damage for it. So they need to send back Rise and Ringar to force save away. Maybe even dive him. And of course, there's always a winner in these lane swaps, these little shifts around. It's always the mid lane. And that is at the moment going very much in favor of Cool versus Goon. You can see double the CS right now. And again, it looks like they're setting up for a tower dive, but again, that ward Vision. paying absolute dividends, and he will back away the that, second they come around. That should also signal Brom to roam down because they have to worry about the early dragons. Those early dragons are very easy to stop if you get in there with multiple people at the same time and you don't walk in single-handedly. Their vision's already run out, so it's a bit dangerous, but since they see the dual lane down here in the lane, taking the turret, shouldn't be too bad. And right now, Go Going should actually have teleported to the top lane. He just missed out on a lot of minions. They haven't seen Gorilla for a long time, expecting him to be gone, because you don't really sit in 2v0, the top lane with your support. And Go Going, once the wave hits the tower, it was only the Corgi, could have teleported up, picked up a lot of farm, actually. Yeah, so they didn't use him to take the dragon. They didn't use him to teleport up top and get the experience. Going to be at a bit of a deficit here. You can see, of course, the pros getting involved in this one. Dexter talking about the AP Nidalee, how it's a pretty good answer to Jace's pick. Of course, we're going to see how Rengar does. It has a 7-1 win, win ratio, apparently. But from what I've seen of Loveling, it's definitely not that case. It is a 1-4 ratio for him. So it's a bit of a counter. Goon in this mid lane. You can see he's taking some serious punishment from Cool. And we talked about it in that first ban, of course, whether it should have been a thing. We'll see, of course, just how strong Cool is on Jace. He has been hitting it hard in the solo queue, and that's where the research came from game one. The question is, was it ban worthy? Well, we're going to have to find out. I mean, what he can keep doing here once Lovling hits level six as well and just keep pushing up the wave. Lovling sits back at the tower, wait in case. Any fight breaks out, Lofting comes in, and you have so much burst with Ringa and Jace together at level 6 for Ringa. Look at save, though. This top winner that focuses so heavily on vision control, not only does it clear out the most wards for top laners, but he's got deep vision inside the jungle that's going to be the side that he's laning on once again. So it frees him up to play extremely aggressively and play with that confidence. So top laners now fighting one another. Lovelin getting spotted out again. They have full vision of him. That does give Watch a little bit of freedom to possibly go up towards that top lane. Goon oh, is heading level down. Six to level four Rengar. Yeah, Lovelin does not want to get involved in this one. This could be a straight up dive in there. Goon's going to try and head off straight over the pit. Go, 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 go going. Yeah, 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 they're going to see if they can find him out there. Full on tower dive, risky play. <laughs> Of course, don't forget that room prison is a big deal for Go Going. This is what he said in Champion Select. Taking Rise is not an instant win for your lane. He's very squishy early on. He's just completed the tier. He could take a big hit. Yeah, and he's pushing out now here. Safe, he loves to actually freeze the waves and force the enemy top laner to stay around to get the CS and experience, which means Zed can then go in towards him. Oh, that it will be spin. very risky, though. It will be very tricky. Tower hit goes to Goong. And now we see Loveling coming back to help out. Goong very much safe, and that's... A lot of time wasted by Goong there. Look yeah. at the CS differential building in that mid lane. 60 to 34. A lot of time wasted. A lot of experience wasted. He couldn't wait any longer. That's why he actually went for it and just got to poke in. He was hoping for going with a walk further off the lane, maybe try and poke on to save, and then he could have gone for the gank. This is going pretty well now for OMG here. They have the two tiers that they're trying to stack for their team, and they're already on a nice gold lead here. So if they could just hold it in this, at the same pace for a little while here, then they'll be very, oh, very successful with this opening. He's got it, he's gifted it, Cool's taking it, now he needs support, it is there. Cool hangs around the side, so the blue steel is in. Imagine White should remember, they were a little bit delayed, OMG's has just spawned, let's see if they can counter it, whether they get across quickly. It looks like they're gonna go straight for it. And OMG as well, this Jace pick in the mid lane gets uh, a very early power spike at level 7 and one at level 9 when you get your fully ranked up Q here, the, the poke you can do onto the enemy team. And that's going to be so strong for the first dragon fight where Save won't be able to have the same poke and power back against OMG. So this Jace pick might actually also give OMG the first dragon of the game. Ooh, Watch is going to go straight in and find Loveling here. They're going to come around. They want to try and start the dragon off. Straight up. Stood on a ward though and OMG 
They're all coming in. Sands a little bit further away from this one, but don't forget, that Shock Blast will do some serious work on the likes of Gorilla, who's trying Ooh. to stand it out. He's going to go focused in. Watch his caught out. Exhaust goes onto him. Gorilla will be first blood. Save's going to be the next focus. Exhaust goes down on towards him. There goes Goop. Can he get the damage down? It's Cloud he's trying to focus on, but a support not on that good of a target. He will get it. Can he get out, though? Goop's going to go try and catch on to the lock on towards him. They're separated. Split targets, but Sand comes in. He's late to the party, but he's certainly got an invite. Zephyr's going to have to drive Valkyrie away from this one, and they will come out two to one in favor. I said one to one in favor. I tell a lie. It was two to one. It was just a hell of a long fight. <laughs> Gorilla respawn. So White Shield's idea here was because San had actually recalled. They're like, okay, we have five members. We got oh, to watch it. it oh, watch Teleport as well. It's not the, over yet. Oh, San can dash away in the back of the pit. They need to try and lock him down. He's just going to slide on over. Naji White Shield can't get anything from it. Can they try and take this mid turret? After that disastrous team fight, they also spend the teleport and just a quick sidestep there means they get nothing out of it. A huge, huge early game here for OMG. This is off to an amazing start for them. And taking such an early dragon when there's still four members yeah. around, and one of them is a Jace, by the way, is such a risky play. Backfired. Notice on your minimap how San is not there for the fight. He's still running. That's why White Shield started. But Zed comes in late as well. It's all about these two exhausts for their team, too. Exhaust early on here. They use both of them on two different solo laners. Going into the push here for Cool, even though the Ignite is on him, it does give vision. Goon switches targets, only gets a support kill. And then, since he wasn't looking oh. at where his shadow was, he goes right back next to Go Going, and it makes it safe to go down and die for him. Yeah, and just well played by San as well, joining the fight. He sees Sabre want to jump in, and she just yeah. dashed yeah. in, his, right face in his face and killed him. Well played by OMG. So, OMG in the lead once again. They managed to claw their way back into this one. They fell behind in the lane phase in game one. Go going, uses that teleport, protects that mid turret, gets himself going. Catalyst up there, big invade. Najin White Shield, five members, four members, sorry, pushing up towards that top lane, but back away. They're spotted by a ward, and they don't gain any advantage. And we have to highlight how many wards OMG is actually buying as a team, because in the group stages and in the LPL, we have seen many, many times where a team like OMG, they kind of slack on the wards a little bit. They don't have no wards down, they don't pre plan whatever they want to go for an objective. Last game and this game, they have been buying a lot of wards, and they use them here to constantly spot White Shield moving around. Lovelin has hit level six now, didn't have it in that previous fight. Cool and Lovelin grouping up, and that's why we're seeing Goon playing so passively, but it's causing problems. He needs CS. Go going is stealing it away. Cool comes back around, and OMG have started off so, so well in this matchup, but they've got to be careful. They're leaving Zephyr alone. That's going to be the top tower. San will take that. The second turret of the game, unanswered so far by Najib Whiteshield. The middle one, the last one remaining they want to take, but Zephyr's doing what he can to get Najib Whiteshield back in this. That's a lot of pink wards they also managed to clear around this mid lane here, and trading top tower for bot tower, now pushing on. Again, Jace, he has this early power spike where he can just Hold on to once he gets max rank on his Q, he can just land so much poke, they use it. Grouping fairly early, just get a bit of damage on the tower, clear some wards around the min or around the mid lane, and now just backing away because they have to deal with this cork in this bottom lane, so pushing. Yeah, OMG gotta be careful. There was three, four members being drawn to that bottom lane. This is something they do do a lot. Here goes Lovelin, stealth goes down, he's looking for the kill. He's going in for Goog, he's gonna come around, bounces on towards him, doesn't land the stun, went too early. Goog is there, tries to turn it around, but you can't mess with four members of OMG. They collapse and kill. To be fair, that stun was gonna land. It was just an ultimate there from Goog to dodge it, but they had him surrounded. Great gank there from Lovelin, and now they have control of mid lane. They should be able to take it. They're calling Jace up. He kills turrets so quickly with just his W. And since he's got started with those uh, armor penetration runes and he got the early brutalizer, his poke already hurt so much. Half the hit points are what shredded away that. Gorilla is trying to stop as much as he can with that unbreakable. But as you mentioned, with the Lucian, Janna, Jace in there, they will shred down these turrets so, so fast. Yeah. And that's what OMG are looking to do, create the pressure. They're almost 4,000 gold ahead already. And now they're moving once again to this blue buff, which they have owned this whole game. They should be able to pick this one up as well. There's so many members here. No teleport for good going, however, he's in the top lane. He might be a little bit careful. Can be five members on white shield very soon. Gotta be careful they don't give anything across to them. There it is, blue buff taken once again. Watch, riding on the Howling Gale. 
And they're going to try and move across. Zephyr may get picked off here. He's going in. Cloud's going to come steaming around the side, trying to catch it with that Howling Gale. Does pick him off, but Cool does not follow it on. The rest of Natchi and White Shield are currently separated. They're not reacting quick enough to OMG's quick early grouping. No, again, the Zepig needs more time to farm up here before he becomes really strong in the one-on-one. -on -one. Zephyr forces to sit in mid lane and wave stay together with save. You don't really have too much wave on this Nidalee. Really. It's all about landing the spear. But we have to notice these defensive pink wards from OMG. That's what they use to start the Rengar gang from your own jungle onto the mid lane here. So the wards just around the mid lane itself won't do enough. It won't spot him as long as you have defensive pinks to make sure the enemy team can see when you actually stealth up. He's doing, he's going for the turret. Might well get it. Oh, the culling coming down from Sunny. May take a tower hit. Has to try and shadow dash away. He does have the support of Cloud. Cloud going down there as well. Will force him away. Loveling. They're all chasing down there. It's Goon that's going to get caught out, but there's the teleport. No answer from Goon going so far. They're going to blast in off. Safe turn around. Look at the damage going back on towards him. Sat gets himself to the bow. Oh, beautiful ulti coming out from Cloud. Love Sat. Nice, nice, nice. There's Goon going coming in. The rest of the team reacts. It's a five man pile up from Daddy White. But they are one man down. There goes Cloud. It's a four on four so far. Goon's going to come around the side. Try right? catch on the double. Wrecking through this team. Can With the room prison. one more room prison? There it is, Gorilla the focus. Not really the one they wanted. They will back away. And a two for one trade once again for OMG. That's why watch they shouldn't be fighting. And 10 seconds before Dragon, that's not the right time here. OMG gonna get another objective off of this. Perfect for them. This is gonna get out of hand pretty quickly here. Now, OMG, the problem has never been their strongest points and has been the consistency for this team. But man, bringing Cloud back in has worked so well for them. Now let's take a look at the double exhaust once again from these teams. Yeah, and also an AP Nidalee teleporting in. It doesn't really have much of an effect. Sun Badger and them notice the ultimate one. Cloud. Flashes in, oh. knocks Boone away from Sun, so he has to go back. Loveling joins in and in the river, you can already see Jace coming down. Yep, and so Jace is going to bring exhaust number two. So this is the call. In comes Cool and go going. He signals, go chase somebody, get that root prison. Second exhaust comes in. They get the kill onto Corky and they continue to trace. This is also going to be the dragon cleaned up for them right after. 3 0 and 1 on Rice. And he's what many people consider to be the best Rice player in China. The go going is going to be really scary. Yeah, and he got this he has, champion almost all the games in group stages, too. And, and he, he hasn't, hasn't even hit his power spike yet. Yeah, this is nope. early. He's a 3 0 1. Front of Ages only just completed and starting to stack out. This is a serious, serious problem for Najin White Show. They are 4,000 gold buying. They're going to get their first tower of the game, or are they? As San comes in, they, <laughs> oh, the minions still don't get it down. And they hold on once again. Zephyr forcing Loveling away from the tower. So, OMG, they like to fight. They've got to be careful they don't get drawn into too many uneven fights, though, by Najin White Shield. Yeah, and they don't want to give White Shield time to actually group up and start pushing down the wave to their tower, so the Nidalee and the Korgi can start landing the poke. You want to constantly push it back, so you're the one in charge here. Cool already taking a lot of damage. It becomes harder and harder to dodge these uh, rockets and spears. Let's take a look at how this AP Nidalee does work out now that he's got his Athenes completed. It isn't just Nidalee for their poke. They also have the Kha'Zix and the Corky here, so it is Spike Rack Evolved Kha'Zix. Uh, just about holding on, you can see. You mentioned the poke, the damage that can come out. So OMG, not winning this poke fight right now. If the no. shock blasts don't land, it's going to be a problem. Gorilla blocking the first one a moment ago. Loveling waiting off the side. He has his stun ready and waiting to go, so he may try and pounce on this fight. Oh, the thing is, ooh, he, actually, he just recalled back to base here to shop. He was a bit low as well, so no engage coming from OMG. I mean, Loveling is the main engage. There's no flash for go going either. Here comes Loveling, though, right yeah. up the middle. He has already. Moby Boots on already. Go going. Trying to catch up. Go going. Pops the ulti. It does blast Najin White Shield down, but he doesn't run in. Still very risky play. Najin White Shield running a good CJ. Yeah, look at all these traps and making it even harder for Loveling to actually engage in through, through the lane at least. If you step on one of them, they will see him and they can then start to move away. They might try and use the last little bit of health of this turret as bait. Break will use to block the calling out. Shock Blast going to come through unanswered this time around. They are going to keep them off. And I think Najin White should look at that. Cloud motors through and clears all those traps out. Good guy, Cloud. But 
OMG managed to defend the tower. There's a lot of poke, though, from White Shield once they can actually group up. Yeah, that is not a good sign here for Shield, though, because with the team that they've uh, fielded this time around, it's really hard to come back with this sort of team. Oh, yeah. Unless you get some crazy picks, if, unless you get some sneaky Baron like that, it is so hard to come back with this type of team. Yeah, Zed, if he's forced to stay back and defend and wave play at his own tower and be in a straight-up 5 versus 5, can't even flank around, we saw in the last game how hard it is to actually take down a target when there's double exhaust, Janna pick as well, Goong back to play pushing, will actually get a tower, going for go going! Going for go going, but go going's got support from his team, he's gonna bait go Goong in there, he's gonna try and run away, look at this, down the mid lane, Cool is coming down, Cloud is following, that's in white shield, they're gonna group and cleverly take the mid to it, though. they're gonna draw him away, Sans gonna be the focus, caught by the last little tweet of Lovely, do you have? in comes Lovely, gets in, pounces, gets the kill, bottom lane, we saw Goong go down, the tower taking damage, He's taking it out. Is he going to be strong enough? Pounces in, gets the second hit, and he will get away clean. They don't get the tower, but they get two kills. Well, they get the top tower there, trade two for two, and they get the top side. Let's see how much they can get done, though. Rise is constantly trying to shove bottom. And that was a lot of members sent bottom in from OMG. Go going, Correct, won that fight by himself, probably one on one. But still, send out the members, will be able to take a mid tower. At least getting a trading mid tower for the top tower, but well, white shield still. So split pushing pays off. Quick recap: Najim white shield. They got the bottom and top turret oh, from that fight. Dangerous. Two kills, but they do lose that mid. Goon once again coming in. Cool shock blasting in there. I'd say it's dangerous, but it's a bit quick and easy pickup for OMG. Cool and go going are really rocking in this game. Yeah, and that early mid turret going down just in time. One minute left for this dragon. They've already got deep wards on the blue side set up here. OMG sitting pretty. And the two tiers here for OMG are both just above 500 mana at this point. And what? Whoa. Oh, you're in trouble, mate. What's going out? He's in trouble indeed. Goom's going to come in. He's got out. Gorilla stops it. That shot pass was well wide. Nice work, but that forces the jungler back. He should have time to go back to the fans and come back before this dragon spawns. Yeah, I don't think anything was really used from OMG here, getting him low, but he has time to go back once again now. Ooh. Looking for another target. It's this flat armor penetration from OMG versus Shield, who do not build very tanky pretty much ever. ever. And it's so, so good against them. That's why he went with the flat armor penetration runes and why they get the early brutalizers here. And they just rip right through anybody that they catch out. That is a very nice setup when you have rune prison to lock the target down and then the Jace just smacks you in the face for all the damage from long, long range. But the only tank for watch is going to be Gorilla as a support. And not even going to become that tanky. Lovely's well, ult is going to be back. Go Goins ultimate's going to be back. They were both used in that last engagement to force him down. But Goog, he's only a half hit point. He can't really go diving in too early in this exchange. Dragon is now up. Lovely. Goes back there. and forth. There's the ulti catch. Going on to watch once again. Cool comes around the side. Colin comes in. Lovely gets it down. Zephyr just completely caught out. Gorilla, that unbreakable not going to stop five members of OMG. And just like that, three members go down. The mid turret's in trouble. Save gets blasted, and the crowd are loving OMG! OMG are looking so, so strong here. Whenever they can get an engage and they can dive onto White Shield, they do it. They get the kills, pushing on here. They can also take a dragon when they want to. They're thinking about the inhibitor there. It will be the dragon they're going to go for, and oh my god, are they looking good in this game. <laughs> Side lanes are pushing, so they're going to want to clean up this dragon as quickly as possible. Shield should be able to answer something here right now, shoving mid. And since they do have those two other points of pressure, maybe they will be able to finally get it. Going to go for a counter blue, I think. That's all Najin Whitechill can hope from this one. Maybe this mid turret. All three dragons go in OMG's way, though. And a 7,000 gold lead almost built up here by OMG. Remember, Najim White Shield, they come back from this against the Lions, but I'm not sure OMG are looking to give up that grasp so easily this time around. That mid turret will be saved. Monsoon from Cloud forces them away, backed up by the Culling of Sand. This combo, this duo lane is working oh. wonders. Those Shock Blast stripping half the hit points off Watch. He's built full damage. He has to get some defense. Thing is, on Kha'Zix, for you to really be strong in these fights, I mean, you need the early damage items. You need to get your last Whisper as well. And OMG is really punishing White Shield for playing these fairly weak 5v5 comps and with no tank as well. Every time a Shock Blast lands, you're down to 50%.
There's zero armor on them at all at the moment, and that's what's really making Cool look like he's absolutely blasted through them. That unbreakable. He can only stop so much. Go going, trying to collapse on towards Goong. Shock Blast City constantly going back and forth. Shield are not going to find success trying the same thing over and over, grouping up like this. They've got to go with some split push here. Cloud is going to cut out Whoa. here, though. Point blank, Shock Blast to the face. Uh oh, he's got Goong. He is not. To go down. Damage. He has to get tell a lie. He has. <laughs> Just managed to get himself a kill, but well, I think it's a bit of a null point, honestly. A trade back and forward, but that was actually good for White Shield because now they can start pushing. There's no Jays to poke them from Max Range. We'll get it. Oh, he's gonna go in. Save's gonna go down. He gets caught out with the Halo Gale. Gets away from this one. Lovely taken low. What is going to deep though? Sad picks himself a one. Goes in. Set caught out. That's gonna be another. It's a double. Sad and he's still chasing. They drive them back away. They lost the tower, but again, you're feeding the AD carry. You can tell that Shield are getting a little desperate in these team fights. Everybody going a bit too deep there. And OMG play that team fight extremely well. Everybody who's low kiting out just in time, trying to bait in a couple more suckers. The fact that White Shield don't have any proper disengage against a Rengar here is a big, big problem for them. Because every single time Loveling engages, they have no chance of actually running away from him. The target he locks down, OMG can focus and just burst them down within. It takes him two seconds pretty much to just kill the first guy. And White Shield has the chance to take Janna in the first rotation. They got six dead and dead. Yep, they're gonna have to turn it on pretty quick here. So let's look at this re-engage, because Loveling, he backs off. He's the one baiting now. Watch can't get to the back of him. And then Zeppel gets Rune's Prison. He decides to try and commit on Cloud. Also can't finish that one off. Well, I guess there was no other choice. He wasn't getting out of it, so you might as well go for the kill. But of just course. before that fight happened, of course, Sam had picked up that Ghost Blade, so now he's rocking and rolling, building towards that Bloodthirst that We've seen some great Lucians, and again, San, who had a lot of question marks over him coming into this tournament, especially when he got the likes of Uzi and Name in the Chinese scene. He was completely overshadowed, but he is really performing on the world stage once again in this, yep. now that he's got Cloud alongside him. And he's had a really hard time because he's been switching to Wow, quite a lot. solo in it, go going. Blasting wow. Goong and forcing him away. The rest of the team come around. Shock Blast, not mind finding him. He does take half the hit points off. Watch once again as the minion wave comes in. I'm not sure they can defend it. The culling comes through, Unbreakable stopping a chunk of that. But again, the next wave will come through. Shock Blast still keep on raining back and forth. And OMG are poking Lovely down Nagy White Shield. Swept as well. They're looking for going somebody. In. He's going in. It's Gorilla's the only one he found, but Unbreakable will prevent all of that damage. That's going to slow things down for OMG a little bit here. Little bit of a mistake there. Yeah, LeBron will be fairly tanky when he has to shield up. And that's the target they want, so they decide to quickly just back away. But they can stay here for days because all the waves are in their favor right now. They've got no reason to back away. They can just keep on drawing, hoping the cool lands one of those. Safe once again caught out there. Safe, as you mentioned, out of mana they're getting. Forced away from this one, it's a blue one fight. That spear though lands. Oh, Ingram's lovely. What follows out? He's taken low. Cloud has to use the mod too. Not sure why he blew them away, but it does save his own team. And a risky engage still. Najin White Shield proving that they can beat them off the turrets if yeah, they need to. Exactly. So that means, you know, OMG, they really need to take control of this map. They have the 5v5 squad. Drag come up in one minute. All that they have to do is ward up on this side. Make sure you leave one ward over by Baron, because oh, yeah. we learned that last game. But that's pretty much all they have to do, and they can control that neutral objective fairly easily. And we're just waiting for ulti here for Loveling. We need to flash off for go going as well, and then OMG can start a fight if White Shield stays around to try and land the poke here. We do see an AP Nidalee still does pretty good damage on Shuya lands the max range spear. Yeah, hasn't got that death cap quite completed. In comes Cloud to clear the vision that Gorilla did just try and get around that Baron. Didn't want to fall for it again, as you mentioned. But the Dragon's up in 40 seconds, and that's probably going to be the next focus target. And we'll see if Engine Shield fancy fighting for it. They are really starting to tumble behind in gold. It's 7,000 now. If Goon keeps eating those shot glasses, absolutely will not be worth fighting for. Good life steal, good heal from Say. Yeah, Cool can really dish out the damage right now. Not only Shock Blast are hitting extremely hard, but he also has his Muramana transform already. Gonna be pretty devastating. He's not with the team at the moment though. Plenty of time. All they have to do is delay any sort of commitment from Shield. 
Zubov picked up by him, so those shot glasses are going to keep on coming. There's one, bam, save. Half the hit points gone. Can oh, lovely. himself there. Lovely stealths up. Zephyr was off at the side, actually, but they had no ward there. They had one just around the side. Trying to clear out the pink ward, trying to remove the vision, but they're taking some poke from that. Jim White Shield themselves are trying to collapse around the side. Zephyr, why is he out in the front there? OMG don't have to rush this, because their top is pushing. Here it goes, though. Smite fight. Save takes a blast again. Continue it. Smite fight's not going to happen. Watch instead. Stealths up, tries to jump away. Lovelink does not have vision of it. And that's another dragon for OMG. Four out of four now. Shot class not quite connecting. Going blind into this push. There's the call in. Blocked out by Gorilla. But they're still chasing. They can still pursue. Sand trying to get the damage down. The shot class. The acceleration gate. Giving them the speed. Yeah, it goes in. Catches Gorilla. Gorilla unbreakable. Back off cooldown any second. Now is it going to be quick enough? There it is. Stops him down. Zephyr separated from his team. Go, go and claps it on him. Valkyrie away. But now Naji White Shield. They're trapped. They're in jungle. Will they get chased down? Goon caught out. The bowler cut catching onto his feet there. They will keep on following. Will they uh -oh. catch him out? He's going to go up for Goon. Go, go, he's taken low. He's going to get popped. He will go down. A one for one trade. Sand picks up the kill. Save now, Chase. Gorilla gets away. The top laner is pouncing away. It's very hard to catch in Italy, but Sand has the damage if he can get Don't one little well. step closer. I'm not sure he's got the speed. Oh, one more shot. Heals himself they got outside. Him. He's going down, and San now at 6-1-7 is godlike. And, well, OMG, they are in full control of this game. It's taken them a little bit of chasing, yeah. but if one team's going to chase it, it's definitely OMG. And it was a decent scramble there from Shield, too. They got out of it in a two-for-one trade, which isn't as bad as it possibly could have been. But, man, you can just see how much control OMG currently have of this game. And you can see how White Shield feel like they don't have any other option. They can keep grouping as five members and try and land the poke and try and like disengage, disengage, kite, kite, kite. Because Zip has never hit a point where he could really split push other than taking one tower and bot lane. Yeah, you're gonna get beat so bad early there by that Jace. And Cool did a, a magnificent job punishing Go going really early on, or Goom really early Didn't on. Didn't Prophet actually say White Shield was going to win? It's not over yet. <laughs> By any means, but so far OMG is looking very, very strong. Thing is here for Cloud, he's obviously the performance stands. Like it's been a, a great improvement over Dada. You know all the rumors about you know why the times he was bent. Hitting the Baron. Pretty much, your performance is definitely going to speak for itself here. And OMG looked like the OMG that that fans wanted. They could do with Go Go and split pushing down bottom and pushing that tower down. But the thing is, Rice right, don't take tower down that quick, but they had a wave down there. He has teleport available, as does Save. And it's funny, because Save's not been able to split push. Simply put, he has to stay with his team, which is causing so many problems with Najin White because they just have no pressure on OMG at all. Yeah, it's all about the Z pick with the split push. I mean, you want to have the AP in Italy poking, trying to use that as one of oh, the Oh, they got him! Bang! He just got destroyed. Absolutely evaporated. Off the map there, lovely comes in, he bounces, he's going in, and the cullin is being blocked by the unbreakable. Go go and flex around the side. Zephyr tries to get away from this one, but you can see the tower hits. One more shot, go go and catch his on towards him. We do see Sand picking up another one oh, pouncing oh. away, running for his lives here. Whoa, Sand's gone deep on that one. Pop's not gonna be enough, and he will be safe. Four for zero, OMG just destroying Naji White Shield. They're gonna tank down the unit. And we have seen this before. Go going on Rise, flanking around the enemy team here. It's once again, Loveling is the guy who sets up everything for them. He starts every single fight, they get the picks, and man, they're looking good. Loveling is just such a cool jungler because one game he'll come out with these risky strategies and he'll do the level two move, but then he'll immediately switch it up. He never lets himself fall into a pattern, so his opponents can't predict what's going to come out of him next. This time the ringer has been great. He's gone with that new sort of Korean build with the early mobility boots and extra damage. And the Baron, is it going to go their way? That's the question coming around the side. Gorilla tries to come in, watch his there. Can he get the spike? Oh! in the game. It'll buy them a bit of time. Just ran straight in there, jumped in, and got the steal. That was so important. It's going to buy White Shield some time, at least. Don't forget, Watch is the man that had Faker <laughs> steal the Baron away from him before, so that's got to feel good for him. A quick smite in there, but this is for the fight. This is what started it all off. Save just getting destroyed.
Yeah, and that was such a risky spot for Save as well, trying to clear the wall. But OMG to keep going. Look at Go going here. From behind, Sepa is like, okay, I'm feeling fairly safe behind my gorilla. And then <laughs> Go going just comes around and smacks you down. Oh, the little catch as well. San just caught him at the end. Fantastic stuff. Watch. This is how he gets away. So that was why he got the Baron, because he managed to avoid that fight. They even dropped the pink ward to try and see him there. So he was able to get out of range of the pink ward and immediately jump just as his invisibility was going to wear off. So, OMG. Warning signs. Looking great coming out here, team man. First two games taken off of shield. What a performance. All they had to do, switch in Dada, uh, Dada out for Cloud. Can and it also just say everyone else the whole is really performing? Yeah, it's transformed yeah. the whole team everyone as well. Everyone is really absolutely. performing. It's, it's given a, a, a new lease of life, confidence to the team, and we wondered how it would be. Sometimes substitutions can work this way. It's like when a new player is transferred into a football team or anything like that. Suddenly a new lease of life is there. A new manager comes along. Anything really that just changes the morale in the team. And suddenly players that were looking a little lapsadaisical look incredible and cool, honestly, on this chase. I think we're seeing why it was banned. 418, shredding the damage of yeah. all of Najin Wise Shield. And that's another turret. They're not going to defend this one. Yeah, and it comes back to those champion pools of the mid laners. Cool definitely has so, so much depth over Goom. You can see teams are sort of baiting Goom into this versus pick Zed once again. And it's kind of, you know, it's definitely biting them in the butt, actually. Well, I mean, it shouldn't be. Uh, they're coming in with double exhaust. They're like, fine, yeah, exactly. first pick Zed. We're happy with it. Yeah. We're going to double so exhaust you. White Shield is tunneling on this Zed pick way too much. For next game, they are definitely not going to early pick it. This Jenna pick and the exhaust just been able to counter completely. It's actually something that the Samsung Deans did against uh, Cloud9 as well. They sort of baited high into those Zed picks, and then they brought the exhaust, and they didn't let him split push. And at a certain point in the game, there was nothing left that the Zed would really have an effect on. First show from Nadine White Shield, not going to profit them anything from it. They can't get towards their middle turret. They dare not. Of course, they do have Baron on them. So then, without anything, it was the Baron that turned it around for OMG in game one, where they snuck it and took it. This time, a smite steal from Watch, who himself is on his third World Championships. Reached the quarterfinals for Sword alongside Mac Noon in season two. Season three, of course, reached the semi finals. Went out 3-2 to SK Telecom, and honestly, probably gave SK Telecom the best run for their money in that entire tournament. Can he go one step further? He's really going to have to step up for his team, though, to make it, because OMG are looking incredible. And, you know, we talked to teams coming into this match, and we talked to Cloud9 last night, and they just said, well, things that I can't say on air were going to happen to OMG, but instead it has been the complete reversal. OMG have looked incredible in these first two matches. Yeah, I mean, those perceptions are based on scrims, and we've seen the big difference. People performing on the big stage when there is pressure like this, that's what's key. They just, I remember the picture from last year, OMG, on the beach, when they went to LA after failing to Royal Club, riding in the sand, that they were going to win Worlds. S4, and they're making a great case for themselves right now. They still have a oh, long yeah. ways to go, but they don't look like they want to stop in quarters. No, and it's also fun to see how the first day of group stage in Singapore, OMG lost both their games, and they look very lost. LMQ destroyed them, and Samsung Blue destroyed them in those two games. But ever since, it's like that. Some ever, nerves, maybe, I don't know. Ever since that Fnatic win, maybe? Ever since the Fnatic win, they've actually just been getting better and better and better and kind of been finding their own their old form. Because remember, this was the team going to All-Star as well. Back in spring, they were the number one team. Didn't uh, work out in the playoffs for them, but at least they were the number one team going into All-Star. Yeah, and let's not forget, of course, they changed that mid laner. Cool stepped back in after his eye surgery. She Young was in there previously at All-Stars. and Played a fantastic Syndra, honestly, and with obviously a lot of pressure was on Cool to come back. From that injury, you know, your eyes, it's a, it's a pretty big deal when you play video games. Yeah. Well, really, anything in life, honestly, your, your eyes are a fairly important part of your every day. And the fact that he's come back from it and then is now performing at such a top level against top Korean teams. And this is something that China has always wanted. You know, they've always said, if we're going to beat anyone, we want to beat Koreans. You look towards Insect and Co that have obviously gone across and joined the Chinese scene. And maybe even Kakao's doing the same thing now, who's 
just went and win the OGN champions, looking towards the Korean, the, the Chinese scene. They want to beat these Korean teams and prove China is not a second-class citizen. They very much can challenge Korea. Of course, everybody wants to take out the champ. You've got to go after the number one. Let's see now. They are pushing up on its inhibitor. White Shield can't really fight them. I mean, OMG has such a strong 5 versus 5 comp. They're going to have to catch out a target. But every time Goon goes in, Cloud is there, knocks him away, and Exhaust is ready. So let's see what White Shield wants to do. The Baron buff has worn off. Of course, the Shock Blasts are going to keep on raining through. Zephyr just getting out of the way of one there with that inhibitor respawn. It is the target OMG one, but they're not going to go for it just yet. Cloud took a little too much poke. They're going to play it safe. Why not? The Shock Blast drawing the damage onto Goom. Oh, it's a it's a death push. They're going. Nothing Look, going they, in. He's popped the stealth. Let's Who's see. he going to pick off? They can uh, set out. Watch, watch can leap away. That ultimate's wasted. Wasted ulti. Try to set up. Looking down this bottom lane. Why should have managed to once again set a big mini wave push going? And it's actually going to do a lot of damage to this tower. OMG might have to back away. Send someone down to clear it. Well, and then start setting up they the also, they they also got to work on their vision coverage here. While OMG had such a huge lead, it should be very easy for them to fill in with wards here. And everybody should be uh, backing because Baron coming up in 15 seconds, they really need to get some down. They at least have this one pink ward to work off of. They need early to work, warming on, system. work on their excitement as well. Oh, uh, the wind If uh, Loveling maybe would have gone ahead of his team, they all followed him. It's like, just what? Well, I'm stealthed up, guys. Stop following me. <laughs> I'm trying to go around. Last trying to be here. sneaky. Sneaky is their aim of the game, but Safe takes a shock blast and now says, hello, we know you're here, but can they take the Baron? They're risking it for a biscuit. That's the question. Can they get it in there? Gorilla, a break ball. Monsu forces them in the back. The Baron takes the fight. OMG back out! Everybody can they pick up any extra kills? They get they Gorilla wait. down! They can't chase, but Sat fancies it! They're gonna come around, they have the vision! Will he dash in? This is risky, risky play! Watch, he's gonna live steal! Instead, they've got it! They've hit and run! They've done an OMG on themselves! OMG were a little bit slow, and nobody had wards to leave in the red jungle leading up to Baron. So, by the time they got vision of Shield, Shield ran right through that pink ward, and they just burned down Baron. They're gonna have to trade him for this inhibitor, but it is, again, Pretty much the only move that Shield had there. Yeah. Again, you can win the five versus five. If you ever start poking away, Loveling can engage onto you, and you Zed who wants to split push and beat people one on one, that's never gonna happen because OMG is just gonna walk straight up your base instead and force a five versus four. So they had to go for the Baron. It worked for them. Once again, maybe buying some time. Loveling, that's a very early ulti. He's they so wanna see if they can pick someone out here. There's a trap at the side, they wanna see if Zephyr's maybe gonna push down. That stealth is about to wear off, but he just instead pounces on it. So a lot of times towards the late game, when you do have the lead like this with Rengar, you kind of use the ultimate as a radar system, just to see who's kind of close to you and if there's any possibilities of picking anyone off. Didn't find one this time around, though. Well, we can go cool. back now. It's a quick cooldown. I mean, you look at his build, it's all built that he can bring that up pretty quickly. Dragon is up, OMG. Very much controlled this one, that will keep the gold swimming their way. Every single dragon gone their way now. Shame that Baron's have though. Now these what's keeping Najin White Shield in this. And again, this shield uh, comp that they're running here, really hard to come back with. So even though they have this Baron, it's going to be a really, really big uphill battle. And they do need somebody out of position from OMG. Yeah, that's going to be the key here. They have to catch someone from OMG who's overextending alone, or maybe someone is not there when the fight starts. It's only four members. That's what White Shield needs. So they have to start warding up their own jungle here so they can actually see OMG move around. Otherwise, they're just going to be forced to sit back in their base and take a 5 versus 5. Watch has hit level 16, all three upgrades, and Rengar as well. Oh, Gorilla needs to be careful up here. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. Oh, this is super dangerous. Not too dangerous at the moment. <laughs> They're going to try and take that red. Trying to rocket steal. Ooh. Tried to rocket steal, yeah. Cool's going to get in instead. That will get locked up by him. Save. Uh, he's going to need to do something about go going, or somebody has to, because the rest of OMG are going to follow him in on this top lane in a moment. There's a ward that will spot them all, so Najin White Shield can react. Oh, Look, at the go. Look at the speed. He pounces in. He catches the stun on to watch. Can the rest of the team keep up with him? That's the question. <laughs> pounces away. And does not quite catch that target. Remember, on the hunt, away from top, though. I think on the hunt may well have triggered. They're both at level 16. I'm not sure they all, all of the objectives yeah. have been reached yet. It'll go off at a random time once all the conditions have been met. So. They managed to get a tower here because the Ford White forced 
White should actually go down to the bottom side here with the engage from Loveling and should be able to pick up Inhibitor as well. I mean, look at the poke they can do every single time. Both Inhibitor here should be pretty easy. The poke still coming in strong. Baron buff regen will definitely help out Shield, but it's going to be very, very hard. There will be very hard press. Should be going down right there. Yeah, so again, they have to land the Spears from Saves. As long as every time it misses, it opens up OMG to move in. Hit the inhibitor, wait for the next spear, go back again, dodge it once again. And it's just so unfortunate. They're going to get again. nothing. They're going to try and catch on this time around. Watto is low. The stealth comes down. Cloud Lake and low. Zephyr almost dropped there. Exhaust down on it, but he's saved by the whisker there. Fantastic stuff. He gets away to the fountain. And OMG have to disengage again. Still, the two inhibitors gone. The mid one will respawn very soon. Need to once again. Go down to this bottom lane, take the big wave, push it up. Buying a bit of time for White Shield to get some more wards in the jungle. They could spot OMG engage just before here, which actually made them stay alive. Yeah, two inhibitors down with two double lines of super minions buffing each other. Should give OMG a pretty clear path here. If they want to finish out very safe, just go bottom, siege up, hit a couple shock blasts, and they should be good. Baron buff pretty much gone. It's been impressive performance by Sam, though. I mean, the yeah. guy has had to swap support so many times the last half a year. I mean, remember yeah. Loveling was the support during All-Star. Then it was Pomelo they had, who's now again the coach for the girl team of OMG, or my girl, or whatever they were called. And at the same time, you had Data 7-7 in there, then you had Cloud, then they swapped a little bit, and now Cloud is back for the quarterfinals. And yet, the guy has actually really been showing up. Well, he does. He takes a lot of flack for the laning phase. He does. But people have always commended him for his team fighting. He's always been very solid for OMG in the team fight. And he's shown it here. He's building with very with a lot of confidence. All damage, just relying on Cloud. That trust is already there with these two guys. They have played together on and off throughout the season. And that's what Doublelift was talking about. When you have an aggressive AD carry in these team fights and you have Janna, it just makes it so much stronger because he can dash forward, he can deal the damage, and then you have Janna for the disengage. At the moment, it's 90 seconds until Baron is up. Najim Wineshield have had their hands on it the last two times. That pink ward at the front being used to spot Lovelink. Pouncing in there, traps laid around the side as well. They don't want to get caught out this time around. And instead, Lovelink is looking around the side. He has his stun ready and waiting. Let's see if he pounces in. Watch may even be the focus target, of course, because that quest will be starting out soon. Zephyr keeps on pouncing, the many traps are being laid down. And Cloud, Cloud again. comes in, <laughs> clears them all out with that shield, sweeps the field. It just becomes very hard with Rengar to engage right here because they're standing oh. in the base. And oh, Stealth Up tries to go for it, but can't get close enough. But he, and it will fall down. Shock Blast doesn't really find his target. Zephyr doing a good job at keeping him away. Oh, Cullin being used, burnt out. Watch, pops back in there. Sano away from his team. They've all backed away, suddenly realizing, buddy, we need to be with you. The inhibitor has been left alone. The shield tanking it. Not going to be enough. This is risky play for OMG here with the Baron up in 30 seconds. If you know OMG, then they will probably back off here and control it. Also, the hunt is confirmed to be on by observers right now. So next kill of Rengar or Kha'Zix can get that trophy. Here we go. This might be it. They're going to collapse. They're going in. Oh, he's going to get it. 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 He's is it going to be enough? He is turned around and just blown the hell up as he goes in there. Sam comes around the side, so, so deep. Safe tries to get away. GA comes back, and that is the age for OMG. Nexus turrets will fall, and oh my god, are they looking good. Game two goes OMG's way. China is one step away from an all-China semi-final. Not only did they start off that game really well, and not only did they execute very cleanly in the mid game, but they also had the stylish finish to win the hunt at the very end. Lovely answering all of your questions, Z-Man, about his Rengar. <laughs> Fantastic stuff, and well, they look good from start to finish this time around. No messing around. They led that game the entire way. What a performance, and really, this team is looking resurgent. Yeah. But let's not forget, 
Najin White Shield have been in this position. They've come back from 2-0. It is a massive ask, and they need to group themselves together and sort out their pick and ban phase yes. because it has been found wanting here by OMG. The picks they're using are so risky because once you fall behind, you can't do anything. Like in this game as well, they could never five versus five, five versus five fight them. That's a lot of efforts in there. <laughs> and that simply means as soon as OMG gets the lead in the early game, gets the first dragon, they just dictate the entire game long. The Z pick has no impact at all. Nidalee was picked as a counter to Jace to try and like counter poke a little bit. Mm -hmm. And heal it up. And he just could never do it. Yeah, you can't heal that up because Cool did such a good job bullying early. early. That lane won really, really hard for OMG, and they gave them so much control early. They were even to win a dra They were even able to win a dragon fight with the two tier champion. Yep, we've seen it as well. I think it was the Samsung teams. I think it may have been Blue that started off with that poke comp that just did not work, and suddenly about okay, let's revert. We need a full team fighting comp. That surely is what Najin White should have to do here. They have to be thinking, let's get in there. Let's get an Oriana or something on Goong. Let's get him away from that Zed. Yeah, because the set, Zimbley, I mean, OMG will never allow you to split push, ever. Like, in China, we rarely see split push because whenever some guy is splitting, well, the other five members are just forcing a fight somewhere, They'll forcing dive. a Baron, they will <laughs> dive you. And then the Zed suddenly has to run from bottom lane, back up and help his team, and he will never have enough impact. So I almost feel like picking a team mm. fighting comp might be the way to go. Oriana for, for Goong is, is a good option. But speaking of the split push, We've never seen Najin White should actually get going on that. It's never worked out for them because Falling they're behind. getting drawn into these 5v5 fights, and that is exactly OMG. It is their territory. What a fantastic, though, game, game two. For now, though, we're going to send 